Hi guys, so I'm running my Android box and this is running on version 6.0 and uh, one of the issues that I'm encountering here is if I start on my YouTube, I get this error message. A new version of YouTube is available, install it from Google Play and when I click install now, I get this error message that says your device isn't compatible with this version. So I'm going to show you guys a workaround uh, which you guys can use. So. What I would do is, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, open up your browser. Now inside your browser, what you're going to type is Smart YouTube TV Latest APK and just search for it. And once you search for it, the very first link you're going to see is from GitHub IO. So click on this. You're going to come down and click on the stable release. Double tap on it and it's going to start downloading. This is the smart YouTube TV app and then now you're going to click on, you can click on open folder if you want or open file, doesn't really matter. Um, since I've already downloaded that, it downloaded another, another copy of this. So then I'm going to double tap on this and click on install. You want to install this application? Yes. And let it install. Okay, now the app is installed. Now I'm going to click open. Now here's going to give you this option. And uh, what I've tried and worked for me is Light Main. You know, I don't want to get into Pro and all that stuff. You know, just Light Main works fine. Just, just double click on this, click allow, and just let it do its thing. Okay, it says restore previous save data. So since I already had mine installed, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. Since I deleted it for you guys to show you guys how I was doing mine. And uh, it's just gonna restore all my previous data in there. You guys may not get this option since you, if it's the first time you're installing it. So uh, either you can click sign in or use YouTube signed out. So I'm not gonna sign in. And I'm just going to use sign out and here you can, here you can see everything is working and then you can control this via remote control, you know, or the mouse. So, um, this is another application just like a YouTube, you know, it's called smart YouTube. Um, and let me go back to the home screen. So over here, if you click on this, it's going to keep bringing the same message. You know, what I would do is just ignore that and create it let's create a shortcut right here and it does not look like YouTube but it's a TV with the S in there so I'm just gonna use that and just create a shortcut so now I have so anytime I have to use YouTube I just click on this icon and bingo there is my YouTube and once I'm in there I can just use it as a YouTube you know so uh, there is uh, there are different videos, you know, if you have a cell phone uh, with the Android device, you know, there are ways that you can go ahead and uh, uh, change the version name and all that stuff uh, for the existing YouTube. And I've tried all that. None of that worked for this particular guy, you know, so I don't care. I mean, this one is working just as good as YouTube. It is basically a separate a smart YouTube, you know, so I'm just using that. And that's a great workaround, you know, instead of you going around and making changes to the APK file and version and all that stuff. So this works for me guys. Hopefully you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.